All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep midlife music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today now. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Yeah, man, this got bad right here, y'all. This one is bad. Uh, and it seems like it's it's a cra- it's coming down now. I don't know what Jalen Green's going to do about this. I know he's probably feeling a certain way right now. Uh, with this coming out, and I'm going to let you guys know exactly what's going on right now with Jalen Green. So make sure, and also I'm going to do a video about this on the podcast, because this this video right here is going to need to be done on the podcast show. So if y'all want to hear my version, I was over there talking about the situation with Meg Thee Stallion, but then this story came up, so I had to get off there, and I came over here to talk about this right now. So if you guys don't know what's going on, Jalen Green recently been in the news, uh, heavy because of this situation with Drea, this woman, Drea Michelle, a lot of people been going in on Drea saying that she preyed upon this young man, uh, that she was uh, almost 40 years old, praying amongst a dude that was 21 years old, and that, you know what I'm saying, a lot of a lot of people been criticizing Drea Michelle. I was one of the people who didn't criticize Drea Michelle because I said, look, young fella know what he was doing. Young fella, like, he know the history on the shorty. He know what's going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not something that he didn't know it's not something that he it's not information that he wasn't privy to that's out here you know what i'm saying so he he knows the things that are going on and around you know what i'm saying this 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 woman i mean so by him getting involved with her everybody's blaming her no blame him the, it, the man had to had to make us up she didn't just force him somewhere and make him do something she he didn't want to do he saw her he looked up to her in a way to where he was attracted to her and he wanted to do what he did. And then he said, he claimed that he was good with his decision to get her pregnant and that he wants to be the father. Well, now this situation is taking a turn and it's got ugly. And I'm going to let you guys know why. Shout out to Black Sports Online because two women are now coming out claiming they also are having a woman with Jalen, a baby with Jalen Green. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. So now this dude have multiple other women who are making allegations that they are having babies with this man too. So it seemed like allegedly this dude may be getting down with all the chicks, not just Drea. Because according to the reports, and I'm going to read the report right here from you guys so you guys can hear the report. Salute to everybody that's coming in the channel. Like, hit the like button. It said NBA's Jalen Green has found himself in a wild twist of fate as rumors swirl about a Houston Rocket, a Houston bartender claiming she has his child. Now, I'm going to tell you all this. This dude, just got, I think he just got a big contract, or he's set up to get a huge contract. It's one or the other. I think he just got a big one, or he's set up to get a huge contract. Bro, listen, if this stuff is true, they taking his ass to the cleaners. I'm telling you all this right now. and I'm, I'm going to go to the podcast show talk about this because I can't really say anything I want to say right here on YouTube. So y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to our podcast show where we can say it how we feel. The link will be pinned at the top of the comments, but I'm going to read y'all the article. It says, NBA's Jalen Green has found himself in a twist of fate as rumors swirl about a Houston bartender claiming that she has his, ha- had his child. So this woman saying she already had his kid. It said the unexpected parallel between these two situations has sent shockwaves through the basketball community and beyond. As fans scramble to make sense of this bizarre situation, social media is abuzz with speculation and memes galore. With drama rivaling any reality TV show, this unexpected turn of events has everyone wondering what will happen in the, in this real-life soap opera. What next will happen? It said the incident has sparked a media frenzy with speculations and rumors running wild. Despite the show of attention surrounding this scandal, the details remain murky and clouded in uncertainty. The situation has left fans and followers are like eager for more information to surface. Now it says that the word has it that the Houston Rockets bartender, her name is, I'll leave her name out of it, and she's named her and Jalen's child, Peace. And apparently 
she had her second baby with Jalen in February. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and she says she posted her pregnancy photo shoot a day after Drea posted hers in March. A whole month after giving her birth to her, ch her child, she claims is with his. Month after hiding her pregnancy from the world. Coincidence? Question mark. I think not. Uh... It says she clearly feels some type of way about the pregnancy by Jalen and not getting as much press and attention as Drea did with her pregnancy and how what has been getting. It says, why start posting about your pregnancy and baby now if you read her comments under TikTok? Um, hold on one second. I don't know why y'all be waiting to try to send brother messages while I'm online. Hold on, let me get this right. Yeah. All right, so it says that from the pregnancy claims to celebrity reactions, this roller coaster ride through the world of pop culture had left fans questioning what's real and what's just another tabloid tale. And all these rumors, one thing is clear. Jalen Green is obsessed with having multiple women all to himself. In a few months, his cougar girlfriend, Drea Michelle, will also give birth. The drama isn't ending soon because media takeout has an even more shocking rumor. Uh, word going on around Houston is that Jalen also has another woman pregnant a beautiful bottle girl at Club Onyx, now of Houston's premier Gentleman's Club. It said, here's what one of the girlfriends told them. Dre is out here acting like she caught a prize with Jalen Green, but he has another girl pregnant. It says, Media Takeout, uh, who basically did a report on the other girl, it says, looked over the photos with a young lady who's 25 years old, and she looks a lot like Drea, complexion, body type, and everything. They even have the same eyes. It says that young lady is six months pregnant, about as pregnant as Drea is. It says that the bartender's friend told the publication that they have the same due date. It says their babies are going to be twins with uh, just with different mothers. It says that now, look, these are accusations. It says that these are the, uh, this is the word and the rumors that are going around on Jalen Green, that this dude uh, apparently has two other uh, women who basically are having babies uh, allegedly by this guy now Jalen Green has not spoken out about this situation you know what I'm saying I don't know how he I well I know how I met God dog man I ain't got no words man I ain't got no words man <laughs> bro listen <laughs> here's my thing right <laughs> bro so um if this stuff is true it's probably gonna end his relationship with Drea you know I told you guys that type of stuff was never gonna last. It was never gonna last, bro. Uh, once you get with women like that, bro, like Larsa Pippen and these women, bro, it's not gonna last, bro. It's not. It ain't gonna be no happily ever after, man. It's not gonna be a happily ever after. It's not. It, it just ain't. I'm gonna. I, I don't know what these. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all something, right, ladies. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all something right now, right. It's not gonna be a happily ever after. I'm telling y'all this. I talked about this on my podcast show today with Meg Thee Stallion. You know what I'm saying? Future made a new song, shouted out Meg Thee Stallion, talked about how bad she was, and Meg went and posted a pic of her in the gym flaunting that uh flaunting that thing that she got sitting behind her. And 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 basically sending him a signal like, yeah, you know what's up. Like, lady, your beautiful sister, why why treat yourself like this to where ain't no man gonna wanna really like you ain't gonna never get married and stay married. It ain't going to be no growing old and gray. It ain't going to be no 80, 70, 80 years old. That's what the birds, man. So I don't know what Drea thought. If she thought this is a retirement plan right here, it might be for her financially. But, bro, these, these chicks, man, I'm telling y'all, man, it's like they not, it's never going to be a, a, a end game, like where you just settle down and it's going to work. It's not going to be like that, bro, because these guys ain't moving like that. You know what I'm saying? It's too many young tenderonies out here, too many beautiful chicks out here. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just being real with y'all, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why these chicks be thinking they're going to get to happily ever after. It's not going to happen. It ain't going to happen, man. It's not. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Straight up. Once you put yourself in that area, dudes know this. They know this. Like, they didn't, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was looking at Jalen Green like he a dummy. Jalen Green might be looking at y'all like, nah. Y'all the dummy. I'm doing what I want to do. He might be looking at it like that. 
know what I'm saying? I get to do whatever I want to do with all these women I looked at growing up. And it, I mean, if it results in me having a baby, I, who cares? You never know if that's how he feel or not. You never know, man. But I'm just being honest with y'all, man. Like these chicks, it ain't never going to be no happily ever after. Once you get to that certain standard right there, once you get to that certain place, bro, I'm telling y'all, man, it's never going to be a happily ever after. And for some dudes, it's the same way too. You can't never please these, he's either a lady or a man. You can never please a brother. Lady can cook, clean, do everything she's supposed to do, show love, do whatever she need to do. You still ain't going to please this man. And it's, I mean, that's, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like some people got to realize like at some point with some people, man, it ain't just going to, nah, it ain't going to. So like with the situation with Drea, did I ever think that Jalen Green was going to marry Drea and they was going to just live life out and be together and be, hell no. I looked at her history. I looked at her history. So I never, I never felt like, like once I see your history, like your history has given me the statistics that I need to know. That's showing me that you ain't going to, it's not going to be something that lasts. It's not. Your, your relationship is not going to last. So when everybody was out here saying, oh man, this, that man, listen, man, that man ain't finna stay with that woman. She finna get gone. She finna get ghost. He not finna stay with her. So for all y'all who felt like that or, or thought like that, nah, man. I just, I, I know one thing though, man. I hope that Jalen Green ain't got these two other kids with this, this other woman, man. I, I hope they don't, man. I hope he don't. I hope and pray he don't, bro. Because what it's going to do is, bro, it's going to put – y'all go to blacksportsonline.com uh, to see the rep report. But, I, bro, I hope he don't, man. They said one of the women work in a strip club and the other woman is a what? I forgot what they said the other woman was. And like I said, I mean, y'all understand this, man. Dude go to the strip club. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling y'all what it is. That, that, that's what them dudes do. They go to the strip club. And, you know, they go crazy. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying that's what Jalen Green did. Because, I mean, listen, you innocent until proven guilty. But, you know what I'm saying? Or, you you, you know, I'm just saying, though, bro. When you getting that type of cheese like that, man, I mean, guys are already telling you, like, bro. That's why I was telling y'all about Marcus uh, Jordan. I'm like, yo, why is you running behind Larsa Pippen? Bro, your name is Marcus Jordan, bro. All you got to do is walk around. Your name is Marcus Jordan. All you got to do is walk around, bro. That's all you got to do, bro, is walk around, bro. Walk around, man. Yeah, these dudes be acting like they can't find respectable women. Bro, what you think you're going to find if you're going in certain places, bro? If you're going in a strip club, bro, you're gonna that's the type of woman you're going to find, bro. I'm just telling you the truth. You ain't going to find no wholesome, I'm going to marry you for the rest of my life, holy art thou type women in the strip club every week. You're just not. You're not. You're not. You know what I'm saying? In the era we live in, I'll be honest with y'all. You ain't even gonna, I mean, bro, you you really gotta do your homework. Cause some of them be in church. You can't even trust them. You be like, man, oh yeah, she's going to church. Man, listen, she's going to church on Sunday after her ass is in the club all night on Saturday. Make it make sense. And you in there fool, cause you ain't in the club, but you in the church. You like, yeah, man, she's a church going woman. Man, get out of here, bro. This is how it go. Just how it going. And so, like, like I said before, man, some, sometimes, man, I'm, I'm just be honest with y'all, man. Sometimes, man, the best place for me to join is, is, in, is he, if, if you if you in college, she in class, doing her work, not looking crazy as hell, focused, then be the best one. She cute, then be the best ones, man. Then be the best ones, man. You know what I'm saying? The type of ones you can say, you know what? She was, man, I'm not finna go to no strip club to meet no woman. That I'm gonna be with for the rest of my I'm not finna do that. I'm not. You're not finna be in a strip club every week. You're not finna be in a club every single Saturday night. And then you come to church on Sunday morning. I'm thinking you're supposed to be nah, we're not finna do that. No. I'm not finna, we're not finna take that up. No. You know what I'm saying? Cause them ones fooling you too. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest with y'all, man. I'm being very honest with y'all. You know, sometimes the best woman you can find, man, is just doing dumb stuff like walking, exercising. You know what I'm saying? You might find a good woman while you exercising. Straight up. You feel me? She focused. She doing her thing. Whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? I tell y'all this. I can't even really, I don't even really really like to talk to women when I go in the gym. Because they be in there, you be in the gym, like, it's hard to go into like a, a normal gym. Like, if you're going in American Family Fitness, if you're going in LA Fitness, something like that, 
Bro, these women be in the gym going crazy. I'm talking about, bro, doing all kind of crazy, unnecessary exercises. I'm like, what the hell going on in here? Like, trying to get ninjas. Like, she, she know what she doing, bro. She don't even got to be doing all that type of goddamn on stretching and stuff like that that she doing. Y'all seen this? You go inside of the gym. She in there with the phone most of the time. Got on looking at the phone and looking at her. And I'm like, man, oh, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Hook, line, and sinker. Straight like that. Straight up. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Shout out to Antonio Mack, who just got the membership to the, uh, who just joined the subscriber, uh, subscribe to the podcast. Salute to you, bro. I seen you just now. So I'm just being real with everybody watching this video. Ain't no, ain't nothing, ain't nothing lying, no lies that is being told. But again, man, and the ladies, you too. The hell lady thinks she gonna find a man that's gonna really, I'm gonna really show you love. You know what I'm saying? But he, his life is dedicated to doing other stuff. Just think, think about it. I'm just keeping it, I'm keeping it real. We wonder why families and relationships and stuff like that don't work out and ain't together, man. We out here giving, we out here picking all the wrong people. <laughs> I'm just being honest with y'all. You know what I'm saying? They ain't want housewives and they out here picking. You know what I'm saying? You know what? They be out here picking buck 304s. You feel me? Ladies talking about they want a man, but they out here, they, they stuck to the dudes who ain't got no job. Pretty boy looking mofos. Ain't got no job. The, how in the hell you got all these clothes? You dress to, to impress, but you ain't got no job. This is what women, this is what the, this is what's going on now. You know what I'm saying? No responsibility. And this is the type of men women is picking, and then women is going crazy when it don't work out. And saying, oh, well, the men ain't no good. You picked them. You had all of the signs was right there in front of you. He ain't got no job. He lazy. He always got a clean cut, clean clothes. But he ain't got no job. Think about that. He don't have no career, none of that stuff. And then you look at the fellas, they looking at the ladies. She always busting it down on the ground, thirst trapping. I'm like, bro, what do you what y'all expect? What do you expect? I'm just saying, bro. I ain't saying she got to be running right here looking like God on. You know what I'm saying? One of those holy art dials. I'm just saying, bro. It, it it is some respectable ladies out here, man, that make you work for. I man, let me tell you something. I appreciate that more than anything. Women that make me work for a little bit. You got to work. I got to work for it. Now you ain't got to do no work. Oh, I, I, I told y'all this. That's why I was tripping off Marcus Jordan. I'm like, bro, you and Marcus Jordan. All you got to do is walk outside the house with like 20, 10 security guards around you. Everybody looking at you like, who was that? All the ladies looking at you like, who that? Who that? All the young, prime, all of them. Yeah, you know, I'm Marcus Jordan. Who? I'm Michael Jordan's son. Oh! You know what I'm saying? You heard our Trey Song said this right here is the panty dropper. Oh, 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 oh. Straight like that. But you out here running around chasing Larsa Pippen. See, this type of stuff I be trying to tell y'all about. So that's why I said, like, young fella knew what he was doing when he got into it with Dre, bro. That was a fantasy of his. He knew what was up. That was a fantasy. He wanted to fulfill his fantasy. Remember that song Ludacris used to have with your fantasy? That's what young fella was doing. That's why I said everybody was uh, going off on Drea. I'm not getting mad at Drea. Drea doing what she's supposed to do. That's what she had been. That's what she does now. That's her. That's her lane. I see dudes going in on Jalen Green. Yo, Jalen Green. Why you with, um, I forget the name of the girl Jalen Green with for the Boston Celtics. You know, beautiful woman. I mean, she, yo, she look good. She looks so good. What, what's the girl's name? Bernice. But well, she got a reputation. And her daughter's out here doing the same damn thing online. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. And she promoting it on her page. 
the 304 tactics. And these are the women that's winning. Not the woman that's coming home, keeping it a hundred. Ain't always trying to be seen all over social media. Holding the house down. Ain't too many Savannah James running around here. I'm going to say it again. It ain't too many, but it's some. It's, 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 it's no, you know what? It, 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 it's some Savannah James running around here. Some good women. See, and that's the best example I can give y'all. Like, I'm going to tell y'all something. The best thing I can say about LeBron James, man, he picked a good boy. That, that wife he picked right there, boy. I love how she carried herself in the public eye. She respect herself. She don't be online thirst trapping, but she, you know she beautiful. You know she beautiful. She don't be thirst trapped. None of that stuff, bro. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say about LeBron James. LeBron James picked him a good-ass wife. I respect LeBron James on that. He picked him a good wife. Y'all talked all that stuff about Kobe's wife, Vanessa. Kobe picked him a good wife. Kobe Bryant don't been passed away. How many years? You don't see Vanessa out here thirst trapping, out here g up with other dudes and stuff like that. She's still holding me name down. Could have left him high and dry and took a half the bread uh, when he got into the situation he got into. Stood 10 toes down with him. This is after all the women said she was a gold digger. And she proved she wasn't. She really loved the man. She was 10 toes down. So it's still great ones out there. And I have to give LeBron James his full credit on Savannah. So I'm just saying, like, it's a path. Like, that's why I say, like, Savannah, she giving the y'all women a path on how to, how to do it the right way. With class. Always classy, never trashy. She's giving y'all the path. But, you know, a lot of guys don't have the mental patience and stuff like that to deal with that type of situation, man. You know what I mean? They don't have that to deal with that type of situation. You feel what I'm saying? You feel me? Because now what they do is, is they see things that's in the, in the club and stuff like that or on, on IG. Bro, I can't even open up my Instagram. I ain't going to lie to you. I can't even open up my IG, bro. I open up my IG, bro. It's something popping on there every second, bro. Bro, the, my IG, I open up my Instagram, y'all. My Instagram page look like a goddamn on man. I, I'm telling y'all, bro. It looked like a rated X uh, 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 website. It's crazy. What's going on out here? The state of just us as people. It's unbelievable. I'm seeing everybody, wife, everybody out here pop, dropping it like it's hot. Everybody trying to take that route. But they don't understand. They don't see the Savannah route. Look at what the Savannah route has gotten Savannah. The Savannah route has gotten Savannah a lifelong marriage. Look at that. You respect, carry yourself with dignity, class. Ain't never, she ain't never in no petty stuff, bro. Bro, I give LeBron James a huge respect on how he picked it. She ain't out here doing nothing crazy, none of that stuff. And they said, like, when LeBron met her, she wasn't feeling him and stuff like that at first. Like, he worked for her. Like, you know what I'm saying? He put the work in. Them be them ones, man. And they still out here, bro. Some of them are still. But you got to go looking for that, bro. Because they not out here displaying foolishness to the public. They not. So we got to respect that. Nowadays, man, listen, bro. You, we got dudes out here trying to wipe Jones. That's literally on YouTube. She's literally showing everybody in the world what you, what you, what you supposed to have. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, man. Make it make sense. That's why I question guys like Jalen Green. Like, bro, you really think, bro, Jalen Green. Like, like, I don't mean to just call out names, but, bro, come on, man. Your John is online, busting it open every day, bro. 304 to the dough. And you you going to put a ring on it? All you doing is wasting a set. Wait, all you doing is wasting wedding ring money, vacation money, trip money, 
bag money, clothes money, shoes money, flight money, family event money, engagement money, marriage money, lawyer money, house money, divorce money. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing. Like that. I want you to think about that. And this is the cycle that guys are going through, bro. They, they don't have to really, you don't have to do that. And you know, people used to like, and this is the one thing, right? People used to bang on Jackie Christie. Jackie Christie used to be at every single game. They said Jackie Christie used to try to get on the got that go get on the team playing. Like y'all ain't finna mess with Doug. No, no dice. Jackie Christie's ready. Throw down. They used to clown Jackie Christie for that. But you know what I looked at? I said, yo, Jackie Christie, a real one. She love her man. She's staking that claim right there. She love her man. She finna hold that thing down for real. You understand what I'm saying? That's a fact. Jackie Christie was in the tunnel throwing down with Shaq and them. You forgot? All in the name of her husband. And they used to, they used to clown Jackie Christie. But she had a good heart. She was, hey, she was a rider for real. People that got to understand this type stuff. You know what I'm saying? You didn't hear her out here doing all this foolishness with Doug. She gave herself to Doug Christie. Same thing with Savannah James. You see, and, and Savannah don't have to do all that arguing, fussing, and fight. She don't do that. But you can tell she front line. She real respectable, real good. Bro, it's women like that that's still out here, bro. Y'all ladies don't have to take this route, man. Y'all don't have to take that other route, bro. You don't. You don't have to take that other route, bro. Because that's the new, that is the new route. Imagine just, you know, look, and just look. Look, look, look how Dre is just walking around. Look, look how Dre is just walking around. Dre, what you think you, I mean, you, I know what I'm going to think. I'm going in straight Stevie J mode. Savage mode. And you really think it's going to be a happy ever after? Jalen Green knew what was up. Look, look at Jalen Green's left hand. He know what's up. He like, yeah, I can't wait. He know what's up. I'm just saying, bro, you got to keep it 100, man. I heard about the other shorty. I forget what her name was. She got like, I heard, they, they dogging her out. The girl got, uh, Pregnant by a football player. She's been pregnant by, I think she got a kid with Future and, and, and Bow Wow. What's the girl name? Y'all tell me the girl name in the comment section. No, beautiful women. Exercising, taking care of herself, man. They, get, get, what, what, what is going on? What is going on? I got the fuck. What is going on? What is going on? Make it make sense. How in the hell is woman looking this beautiful out here acting a fool? What is going on? That's, that's supposed to be a one and done right there. Lord Jesus have mercy, man. I'm giving y'all Patreon content. I'm giving y'all Patreon content. Podcast show content. Right now. Yeah, I'm just, I'm telling y'all this. I watched it. I said, man, this is a beautiful woman. Like, take care of herself. Exercise. Take care of her body and stuff like that. She ain't out here thirst trapping. What, what is wrong? What, what, what in the God's green earth is going on? What's going on? This type of stuff we got going on. We we don't we don't weed it out. The Savannah's, the Savannah James of the world, who who ain't never got to be broke. You pull up one picture. You can't pull up one picture of Savannah James looking crazy. You can't. Salute to LeBron James. You can't. You can't pull up one picture of Savannah James out here looking crazy. I 
I'm just saying, bro. This is crazy, man. When I heard about that, I heard she, I said she pregnant again. So, so listen, ladies, and this is for y'all. This is motivation, and, and this is just good talk for y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. Y'all, when y'all when y'all want to have kids, you want your kids to look at you in a different light. I'm being I'm being honest about this. Like like the girl the the girl who just had the I'm just talking about the I guess her name is Joy. Beautiful woman, man. You on your third baby daddy? Was that your life was that your life plan? You on your third baby daddy. You ain't got no ring, no marriage, no commitment, no honor, no dignity, none of that. You got three babies, three baby daddies. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I can't marry a woman like that. I can't. You ain't going to be sitting there talking to two other baby daddies their whole life. You're supposed to be with me. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Nope. That's disqualification immediately. That's this. That's immediate disqualification. Come on now. She, you could not have thought when you was a woman, you were 20, 19, 20 years old growing up, that that's going to be your life story. You can't think that. I'm just saying. Come on now. Bro, man. It, 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 it bothers me, bro. It really do. It bothers me, man. You know, so when people was dogging out Dre and Michelle, Dre and Michelle gonna do what she do. Everybody know what's up with her, man. Everybody see how she get down. It's cool. She do what she do. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? But Jalen Green know better. He a grown man. He know what's up. He don't seen this. He got to deal with that. Now they saying that it's two Mo allegedly that's coming up, man. Come on, bro. Come on, man. And the Houston Rockets, they're one of the hottest teams in the NBA right now. They're on, they on a heater right now. The Houston Rockets on a heater right now. They're one of the hottest teams in the NBA right now. Trying to catch the Golden State Warriors to get in the play-in. And this type of foolishness you got going on. And I'm just telling y'all this, man. You ain't even got to do no work no more. I'm, I, it, it's sad, bro. The era we live in, I told y'all, I... They talking about we done with the 90s. At least in the 90s and 80s, you had families, man. At least you had families, man. At, le at least I can go see my mama and my daddy still together, man. This, this new era is horrible, bro. It's horrible. The family reunion is looking crazy as hell. You got 10 different family trees in a family reunion. What the hell is going on? Dude's got to make appointments to show up at the family reunion. Yeah, I'll be there at 3 when he leaves. So if he come at 1, he got 2 hours and I'll be there at 3. It may make it make sense. Make it make sense. This is this is this era of unaccountability, irresponsibility. And this is why these dudes can't, I, I figured out why these dudes got low managed so much. I figured out why these dudes stay hurt so much. They spending more time in the bed than they are on the court. This is the reason why these dudes can't be on the court. They spending more time in the bed than they is on the basketball court. I figured it out now. I figured it out. You got a whole bunch of dudes that want to be Will Chamberlain out here. I, I'm just being honest with y'all. You heard this, I be stroking. That's what I be doing. I be stroking to the E. I be stroking to the wet. I be stroking to the no. I be stroking. I be stroking. That's what I be doing. That's what's going on, man. This, this whole era, bro. This whole era. And somebody told me in my in my comments, they was like, yo, ticket. If you don't like this era, why you be watching the game? Because it's our responsibility to change it and to keep the carry on tradition. That's why. It's our responsibility to constantly be a voice against the BS. Because if we quit, ain't going to be nobody else. Ain't nobody going to be safe. This is the new norm. This is the new norm. 
if we if we're not here to clean this stuff up, man. I'll be honest with y'all, bro. All the way across the board. If we ain't talking to the young fellas and saying, bro, man, what is you doing, dog? You a multimillionaire, bro. Like, bro, what is you doing, bro? Like, bro, go get you a wife and sit down somewhere, brother. Just be honest, bro. You a multimillionaire. Go get you a good wife and sit your ass down, bro. What are you doing? Like, these dudes get all this money as black brothers. We get all this money and give it, give it away. And ladies, y'all ain't got to go all the way doing this stuff. I'm going to tell y'all a secret, ladies. That's not a secret. You guys are going to get, it's a million of you. So you sitting in there doing all those exercises, going to the gym, putting up all of these guy on pictures on, on Instagram and these videos on Instagram, thirst trapping. It's a million women doing the same thing. Your man is going to get tired of you after a while. And he's going to see another one and another one and another one. You have to be able to do something else and bring something else to the table. That's respectable. That's going to make a man say, you know what, man? She different, bro. I rock. She different. I'm telling y'all this. Because this new era, these dudes paint their fingernails, paint their toenails, all kind of stuff, man. This dude, Jalen Green, think he's young Lloyd. See you on the south side. No, I got your pack. Ooh. Remember Young Lloyd? With Lil Wayne? Huh? Stop. Wait a minute. Girl, you just got my heart all in it. And I just want to be with you tonight. I'm a player. I'm Jalen Green. It's true. The hell wrong with these people? This is a new era. This boy literally be in the game with a perm in his hair and an ass curl. This is the new era right here. This is this is what this is what's happening right now in front of our eyes. Yeah, it's young Jalen Green. It's young Lloyd, live from Decatur, baby. Well, Weezy F baby where it's greater. The hell wrong with these dudes? You got Lil Wayne running around here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, man, that uh, I know what you're saying to me, but... And the ladies love this. The ladies love this foolishness. And Nikki can barely say three words. And he's like, oh, Wayne, what, what is going on? What the hell is going on in this world? Hey, Wayne, how you doing? Uh, 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 uh. I want to go see Skip. Ooh. 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 Uh, 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 uh. What is it? Oh, oh, I'm getting money like I'm a shade darker than I, I can see. I got everything. You got nothing. You ain't got nothing on me. Oh, I'm getting money like I'm a Oh, you ain't never seen. I got everything. You got nothing. You ain't got nothing on me. Make it make sense. This is the new norm. This is the foolishness that's going on. And the ladies out here, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, give me this baby right now. Oh, straight up. It's sad. It's sad. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with y'all, right? Be honest with y'all. This is the type of foolishness that's going on. This is taking over this new era. And y'all wonder why it ain't no more marriages, ain't no more relationships, ain't no more long-term nothing. Straight up. Everything out this is microwave from now on. Remember y'all used to get a good cooked meal? It used to be a time, let me tell y'all something, y'all. It used to be a time where it was a cooked meal every day. You'll cook the food. These motherfuckers out here eat microwavable meals and order an Uber every night now. It make it make sense. This is this new era. You can't even go home in this new era and get a cooked meal no more. Ain't no more cooked meals. Everything is microwave and Uber. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you what it is. I know that's why Deion Sanders didn't marry that girl. 
When that girl Tracy sat up there and said, I don't cook dinner, I'll order Uber. I said, oh, that, she disqualified. Immediately, I see why she didn't last. Immediately. Immediately. It's, it's just, it was just different, man. The experience was different. You know what I'm saying? You know, wife come home. You know she tired as hell. She getting off work. Hey, she still love you so much. She she cook you that food, man. And, you know, it lasts you another day. You, you, you put some leftovers in the refrigerator. You eat the next day. But then the next day, she going to cook you something else. And if you got a real good one, she going to fix your lunch before you go to work. I'm just saying. I, I mean, I'm, I'm keeping it real with y'all. Y'all might get mad at me for telling the truth. I'm just telling the truth, man. It's just my thoughts, man. It's just my thoughts, bro. Some of y'all real ones know what I'm talking about. Y'all OGs who've been through this, y'all know what I'm talking about, man. It ain't like that no more, man. It, it really ain't. Ron Tom, what's good, homie? Salute to you, brother. Y'all know what it is, man. We live in a whole different era now, man. I'm telling y'all this, bro. You ain't, you ain't get no cooked meals no more, man. Women used to, like, like show you love through the cooking, through her the spices in her food, and, and the guy daggone, the flavor in her food, you used to fall in love with the woman like, man, bro. Like, she really put everything in this meal right here, bro. You don't got that no more, man. Them mongas out here eating microwavable Hot Pockets and shit like that. Like, come on, bro. Oh, just order Uber. I'm just, I'm keeping it real, man. Y'all wonder why this new whole new era is trash. This whole era. Didn't nobody carry on tradition, bro. The men or the women, the man, he don't want to do, he don't want to do a damn thing. He come home, the man out here expecting the woman to take out the trash. He looking at her like she's supposed to take out the trash. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. You a grown man looking at your woman to take out the trash. Trash falling all out the trash can, y'all. This type of stuff that's going on, he just looking at it like, hey, you going to get it, baby? I'm, I'm saying they're going to be mad at me for telling the truth. I don't care. This is a new era. It's the new era. I'm being real with y'all. Toilet stopped up. Man don't even want to unclog the toilet. He got the wife out here doing it. Yeah, well, just open the top. He screaming in front of the bed. He laying down somewhere on the sofa somewhere playing the PlayStation telling her, yeah, just open up the back, baby. Just open up the top. Put your hand down there and pull up the string like that. Just, yeah, you know, he explaining it to her. Instead of getting his lazy ass up, walking over there and doing it. Himself. It's crazy. This is the era we live in. This is the era we live in. I don't, I, like I said, man, it's sad, bro. It's sad, man. It really is, bro. I wish this stuff would change, man. I really do, man, because the way it's going right now, man, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all this, man. The way it's going, the way it's going right now, in 20 years, y'all going to see women cutting grass. Y'all going to see women cutting grass, raking leaves, got dad going to change in oil, Changing tires, all kind of stuff. You see the fellas putting on, do, putting on the, 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 the fingernail polish and all, and then the fellas going to be the ones going to the spa, getting pure, pure, uh, full manis and petties. This type of stuff that's going on. Yeah, baby, I'm going to the spa right now. I'm going to get me a mani and a petty. Huh? Hey, what, what type of dust buckets we got running around? I, bro, listen, what type of men we got? Bro, listen, your lady's car break down. She call you. This nigga don't even want to come. This nigga don't want to come help with the car. Yeah, you know, call the tow truck. This is what's going on. Ain't no more man walking out here saying, hey, man, I got it. Let me go ahead and see what's going on. Let me pop the hood right here show you my manhood. Pop this hood right here show you I'm a man. Show you the stuff that my father taught me when I was growing up. I'm just telling you. This is the, this is a new era that we live in, bro. This era is trash, bro. I promise y'all this. I promise y'all this era is trash. 
And they wonder why we in here clean up each other. I'm talking about not just from basketball, all the way across the board, bro. All the way across the board, bro. Straight up. And nigga shave and just leave all the all the hair in the sink. So your girl got she gotta go in the sink to brush her teeth and she looking at all your hair clippers in the sink. Make it make sense. He ain't even he ain't even man enough to get a tissue and wipe it out the sink, bro. And clean the sink. Hey, I'm just telling y'all what it is. Telling y'all what it is. Nigga leave the toothpaste open with the tube, a toothpaste going goobing all out the tube or the tooth where it's all dry. The next day, make it make sense. This is the stuff going on. Brothers going and using the bathroom and not flushing the toilet. This is what's going on, bro. I'm telling y'all this. This is the era we living in, bro. Somebody got to clean it up. Somebody got to speak out against this stuff, man. Grown man walk in the bathroom, use the bathroom, don't even flush the toilet. Just walk out, leave the toilet like that. Now imagine the next person that got to go in there. You got yellow stains all over the toilet seat. And didn't even lift up the toilet seat, man. Didn't even have enough respect or courtesy to lift up the toilet seat, man. Just make it make sense. Grown man. I be watching. Uh, bro, and, and this, this, this is how I knew we had a real problem in this world. You go in the bathroom. You watch a man use the bathroom and walk out. He don't even wash his hands. I'm like, bro, and then dap up somebody. You walk outside the bathroom. He dapping up somebody. Yo, what's up, B? What's going on, man? Everything good? Yeah, man. What is going on? Hey, wash your hands, dog. I'm telling y'all this. This this is new era that we going through, though. Bro. I'm, hey, man, it's sad, brother. Everybody taking shortcuts. Everybody taking shortcuts, man. Y'all see it. Ladies, y'all, I don't know what's going on in the ladies' bathroom. Because I don't go in the ladies' bathroom. Y'all can only talk about that stuff. But I'm just being real with y'all, man. We got to just be more mature and, and try to, like, get ourselves on track, man. Do something right, man. You know what I'm saying? That way we can have more families. You understand what I'm saying? Like that last. Kids that have a chance, bro. Don't y'all know that's a positive influence to see a kid, for a kid to see their family, like, grow up together? We we don't even have no more like Cosby families and stuff like that no more. I know y'all don't like whatever with the stuff with Bill, but I'm talking about the show. They ain't, it ain't that no more, bro. Whatever happened to the family families? You understand what I'm saying? Just make it make sense. We have destroyed the entire structure, and with all the foolishness we got going on, that bro, I already knew it was going the wrong way. I'm going to tell you how when I knew society was going wrong. When I saw dudes wearing skinny jeans, I said, man, come on, bro. When I seen niggas wearing skinny jeans that look like spandex, bro, spandex, and they sagging them, I said, man, this world is going to H-E double hockey stick. This man in here wearing skinny jeans. He got to get up on the bed, lay down, put his legs in the air, and do the shimmy just to get them on. Make it make sense. That's when I knew this era was going. Bro, when they would start doing that like 15, 20 years ago, I said, man, this is it. And he's out here wearing spandex for jeans. They wearing the same jeans the girls was wearing. The girls back then was putting on Sergio Valencia's, whatever you call them shits. And these niggas out here putting on apple bottom. They want their jeans to fit like apple bottom jeans. Like, dog, what type of jeans you got on, man? I got on them apple bottoms. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, man, I got on these apple bottles, man. I'm just telling y'all. I'm being real. I'm not lying. It's sad, bro. It's sad, bro, with this whole, you know what I'm saying, bro? I just hope it's a change, man. I really do, bro. You know what I mean? I really do, man. You know? And so, you guys definitely let me know what y'all feeling. Look at these dude's hand right here on the left hand side of your on the right hand side of y'all screen. Look at his hand. Look at Jalen Green's hand, y'all. Look at it. Dude, we got to make this make sense. Look at his hand, y'all. Look at his hand. I really want y'all to get a zoom in on this. 
Do that make any sense to y'all? Look at his hand, bro. This is the new era, bro. This is the new era. Man, yo, man, much love to everybody, man, that tapped in on this one tonight, man. Y'all already know how to come with it. I ain't even think I was going to give y'all an hour. Man, y'all subscribe to the podcast show, man. I'll be having these type conversations, too, on my podcast. So if y'all like this type of video and these type of conversations, too, I'll be doing the basketball. I'll be doing this, too. Subscribe to the podcast show. I mean, the link pinned at the top. We almost had 2,500 subscribers, man. Make sure y'all click that link tonight. And subscribe to the podcast, bro. I'm going to do another video on this on a podcast show that's uncut because this is ridiculous, bro. And I hope to God this dude don't got two other baby babies because shout out to Black Sports Online, but I hope to God that it's not two other women walking around with this dude's baby. I hope not, man. I hope not, man. You know what I mean? Straight up, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all feel, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Oh, I'm just keeping it real. You, th you think I'm lying? Go to Instagram right now. See what you see. Go to Instagram right now. If you think I'm lying. I'll holler, man. Click that link. Subscribe to the podcast. I'll go to the podcast link right there in the chat. Man, let's get that thing up to 3,000 subscribers in the podcast. We almost at 2,500 now. Y'all know what it is, man. I'm going to holler, man. Holler back. Salute to everybody standing 10 toes down with me. And everybody that want to see things change. Y'all can sit up here and complain or you can make a change. It's on you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to stand up and do something about it. We're going to keep promoting the nonsense and foolishness that we're seeing going on in this era all the way across the board. It ain't just with sports. It's in real life. 